Well, good morning. Welcome to our daily prayers. It's Wednesday. Um, over the summer, I was down in the front the other day and um, I, got, I asked my wife to get me an ice cream. She was getting one for herself. I was outside with the dog and I said, oh, can I have a large Mr. Whippy? And so she came back with an absolutely massive ice cream. It was much bigger than I was expecting. And because it was so hot, the race was on to actually um, eat it in time before it melted. I think on that occasion, my eyes were bigger than my stomach. Well, certainly my eyes were bigger than my ability to eat it quickly enough. Melting ice creams, I guess one of the um, pictures of our summer holiday. Let's come together as we pray to God now. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. And so our reading this morning is from Genesis 43, and we're picking it up at verse um, 26. What's happened is the um, Joseph is playing games with his brothers. He keeps Simeon and he sends them home because he wants to see Benjamin, who's Jacob's special son. And so now the whole family come back, plus Benjamin, plus um, Jacob into Joseph's presence. They still don't realise Joseph is Joseph. Verse 26 of uh, chapter 43. When Joseph came home, they presented to him the gifts they had brought into the house and they bowed down before him to the ground and he asked them how they were. And then he said, how is your aged father you told me about? Is he still living? They replied, your servant, our father, is still alive and well. And they bowed down, prostrating themselves before him. As he looked about, he saw his brother Benjamin, his own mother's son. He asked, is this your youngest brother, the one you've told me about? And he said, God be gracious to you, my son. Deeply moved at the sight of his brother, Joseph hurried out and looked for a place to weep. He went into his private room and wept there. Now, after all this time, Joseph could say his brothers would have their just desserts. He could have harboured thoughts of revenge and resentment over and over the years, a stewing and stewing until they were, as it were, ice cold. But actually what we have here is a man who's been changed by God and actually is not resentful, but is overwhelmed at being able to see his brothers again. It slightly reminds me of that parable that Jesus tells about the prodigal son when the father is waiting for the son to return and as he sees him he bounds towards him and embraces him. We get the same sense of things from Joseph as he begins to be reunited with all his brothers and that's how God sees us. He welcomes us and in a sense when we are far away from him he weeps wanting us to return. He's not vengeful or spiteful about our sins, but is willing to forgive that we might be reconciled to our Heavenly Father. What a God we have. Space for our prayers today. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so may the grace which Joseph is about to show to his brothers, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>